Okay. I just, um, I guess I'm going here. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, hi. My name is Charles Mazzarella, and I'm the author of The Lion Shares. The Lion Shares is a collection of short stories that I wrote when most of the stories were written when I was stationed with the U.S. Army in Baghdad, Iraq. There are 39 short stories and 8 poems located within the Lion Shares. I feel these stories can become more than they are and I am asking for your help. I would like for you to read the stories and consider that for yourself. That I believe these stories can be more than they are. I believe they can be made into a movie perhaps. There are about ten stories, six of which I'm going to mention in more detail. Uh, and but the, of these ten stories that I'm going to read to you tonight, or I'm, that I'm going to mention to you tonight, not read to you, I am going to, I believe, can be considered to be potential for a movie. The first, there's a series of stories. The first three in the book, the line shares. Can, um, I use the say the main character of. Victor E. Caruso, who is a journalist. Victor E. Caruso is the main character in the first story that I wrote, Remembrance of a Kievan, Remembrance of a Kievan Romance. He is a journalist who, write, who wrote about how his parents met in Kiev and in later stories, he writes articles uh, about how the adventures of his family, basically. Adventures of his family, uh, goings on in his family. It's a future-based story. These three stories are future-based. And uh, it talks about the, difficult the difficulties of living in space and living on the moon. The second series of stories that I'm going to mention, consider a different and more gritty character. I wrote about a serial killer that uses a nail gun. It's a modified nail gun and his character name uh, is only mentioned towards maybe the second or third story um, but his real name is never revealed. These three stories Finding the Perfect Tool, My Friend the Hunter, Live Without Regret. These three stories are all including the unnamed serial killer that uses a modified nail gun. Um, the first one is quite edgy. The second one, he has a little bit of a softer side, especially when he has a mercy killing for a guy who has cancer. The third one, he kills one of his bosses and he hunts down a serial killer that's trying to kill two college students at a local community college. Okay, I have other stories that I'm going to mention tonight. Uh, just a little segue here though, um, there are other stories, if I mentioned the other ones, um, it would take probably about half an hour for me to go read through all of them and describe them as well, most likely longer than that. Uh, Truth in Cigarettes is one that I really, really like as well about a homeless guy who tries to find himself and uh, who tries to get some respect um, and, to and he tries to change his life. That's just a, an example of one of the stories that I didn't mention, I won't mention right now, but that's also in The Lion Shares. The next story I'm considering tonight for you to consider is Sometimes They Use You as an Alibi. 
This is my nod to film noir. This story is set in the 1970s and it's about a private investigator who has to look for a technical manual for a computer. Uh, it's stolen from a lab at a university in upstate New York and the technical manual is worth a million dollars. Um, Herman Chase is the private investigator and he looks at videotape, questions witnesses, and learns he may have been used as an alibi. Sometimes, you are you, sometimes they use you as an alibi. The next story that I want to mention is The Progenitor. The Progenitor is based on the movie The Prince of Darkness by John Carpenter. You'd have to see the movie to sort of understand this story, but you can read the story nonetheless. I was inspired by the ending of the movie The Prince of Darkness, and you'll see how they try to bring out the devil, I guess, to reign on Earth or something like that. His plans are spoiled, and in my book, in my story, the progenitor of the Bishop of Montelepre, um, he comes out of the mirror and begins his destructive reign on earth until, un or unless, the Bishop of Montelepre, a chosen guardian of goodness, and others can stop the progress of evil. Uh, if they can't stop him, then I guess you'll see what happens. The progenitor. This next story that I would like to mention is something a little bit different. Uh, it is about a 16-year-old boy who asks his father for permission to work on a riverboat on the Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania in the summer of 1935. He's an Amish boy, so this is something he probably wouldn't most likely wouldn't most not likely be able to do without you know some great difficulty, as our world is so much different, I guess, from the Amish way of life. The 16-year-old Amish boy gets permission from his father to work on one of the last riverboats to be seen on the Susquehanna River during the summer of 1935. Along the way, he is introduced to a side of life he never knew, going to a bar, taking orders from bossy ghosts, burying decomposing bodies, typical teenage activities. You'd have to see what I'm talking about, read the story. Jezariah and the Ephraim Sands. One of the last ones I'm going to mention tonight is called, or in fact the last story that I am going to mention tonight is called The Photo Album. The Photo Album is a series of three smaller stories contained within the same story. It's a, there are three stories about the photo album that span 80 years from the Theodore Roosevelt administration up to the Reagan era. And it's a life-altering, this life-altering photo album is stolen and used several times in attempts to kill a few celebrities of the time. Follow the adventures of the photo book and characters from America to Paris, to Lisbon, Portugal, and finally back to Washington, D.C. The photo album is at least is responsible for at least one death. Um, I don't want to really tell them, all right, here's this, the basis of this story basically is the photo album, if you possess this photo album and you take a picture of somebody and put the picture in the photo album and you say, this is a picture of so and so, and leave the picture in the photo album, within two days they will die. That is the sort of morbid magic of the photo album. My book, The Lion Shares, is available when you go to your local bookstore and ask them to order it for you. It is most likely not on your shelves. That would be one of my goals, is to put it on many shelves in many independent and big chain uh, bookstores in the country and, uh, of course, throughout the world. The Lion Shares is available online at Amazon.com and it is also available at www.thelionshares.com 
Look for the lion shares on Facebook, Google, and YouTube. Give my book, The Lion Shares, a try. Again, my name is Charles Mazzarella. I'm the author of The Lion Shares, a collection of short stories. And I would like for you to consider if some of these stories, if some of these stories can be made into a movie. Please read the story and let me know. Thank you.